Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Groucho 14E, publicly subscribed for six months. Cap, if you want to have fun with the Tomcat's power, because I'm always shouting power with the Tomcat because it is so horrendously powerful. And it is the most powerful jet we've got in DCS question mark. I'm pretty sure it is. Even more, I think, than the 33 with combat power. Yes, I'm almost certain it is. You could recreate the start of the F-14 BD airshow routine, which I've seen. I saw it. 2006 or whatever it was on their farewell flight. A dirty double Immelman. So that means an Immelman and then into another Immelman. So going up all the time while dirty. So gear out and whatever. In a completely clean jet, take off, leave the gear down, half loop up. Yeah, I know how to do it. And then retract the gear. So they showed it off. The, the Tomcat showed it off because it had enough lift and enough power to do it where a lot of other jets wouldn't. Yeah, I'm sure if we could do it in real life, then I'm sure we can go and do it in the sim. Now, what would make it more interesting, because we like to up the ante all the time, is, okay, yeah, I'm sure we could do it. Why don't we go and test which planes in DCS can do it? Now, we need to create a specification for the double Immerman. So, I mean, pretty much everything could do a double Immerman. You know, CE2 could probably do it if, you know, it's got enough of a run-up and enough space to get the speed up. So, what we'll do is restrict it to the length of the runway. So, the entire double Immerman, longitudinally, has to be done within the confines of the runway, a bit like it would have to in the real air show. And so, only the guys with enough just brute force, which is what an Immerman needs at the end of the day, can actually do it. I'll do it first. We're going to do a dirty double M Immelman from takeoff confined to the length of the runway I'll see. So you don't have to be perfectly in line with the runway because it always goes a bit wonky if you haven't had any practice like us. Just try a double M Immelman uh, not allowed outside of the confines from the top view of the runway and if the plane's not got the guts, and it's not just about power, it's all about how it handles angle of attack so it is wing as well. Uh, it's a bit of a complicated thing but generally speaking it's a brute power exercise. Let's have a look at the planes. So we've got F-15C, F-14B, F-16CM, which is a kind of a heavyweight version, F-A-18C, JF-17, Mirage 2000C, MiG-29A, and an SU-27A. What we've got is each of these planes, to make it fair, is carrying exactly 35% fuel, which is what we figured you'd probably have an air show. An air show has lots of afterburner, 30 to 40% gas, I would presume. Yes, it's always unfair on the SU-27 because the SU-27 has such a massive payload of fuel as compared compared to all of the others internally, but what do you want me to do, you know? I, uh, that's just how it is, so the SU-27 is just going to have to man up. In terms of predictions, RC, I think the F-15C, although it's going to be a pretty crap at Alpha, I reckon it's pure power would just get out of it. The F-14B has pure power and also doesn't need to ride at Alpha because it'll have its big straight out wings. The F-16, I think, will do it just because it's so lightweight. The F-18 and its tiny little granny engines I don't think it's going to do it. The F JF-17 has barely got an engine. It's so lack of power. The Mirage 2000 is an interesting one. The Mirage 2000... I always get in trouble for all the Mirage fans out there. But in real life, I'm certain the Mirage couldn't do this. In DCS, I think it's just way over-modelled in terms of power. So I reckon it probably can do it in DCS, but I doubt it could do it in real life. MiG-29A, I've seen these things fly in real life so many times. I've no doubt it could do it in real life, and I've no doubt it could do it in-game. SU-27... I don't think so. The power to ratio, ra power to weight ratio, especially with 35% fuel, I think was just going to be too much for it. Then again, it does have fairly straight wings, so I don't know. Uh, what your thoughts? Anything you'd change in there, RC? Along the same lines. Along the same lines. Okay, very good. Right, I'm going to go first, RC. Wish me all the best luck in the world. Watch it. Man. Remember, don't put your gear up. It's so natural to put your gear up. So you have to go straight up in the runway, basically. No time to get any speed up, because, like I said, anything could do this if it could get the speed up and has the time to get the speed up. But only the pure power fighters, like this plane, can do it without getting any speed up. Yes, I'm getting a little bit wonky, but it's near enough. Okay. That is, I'll see, a, a, a double dirty takeoff Immerman. Fuel and I was never even stalling. Oh, I'm stalling. No, I'm good. Bingo I'm good. Fuel. Yes, the end, so I'm aware. I'm aware. I was always in control of that. I know it was. I know it was a crap rendition of a double Immerman, but I can guarantee you that power had that fighter had the ability to do it. Um, right, RC. This is a 1.2 mile runway, everyone. So it's a very short runway. Make things even harder, but that's what we want to do. We want to make things hard. 
probably leave your fly by white on, otherwise it's just gonna probably bite you in the arse. Look at the power of the flunker! Roll that baby over. Oh, it's looking good, I see. Fair play. Up you go again. Come on. Mustn't go past that runway. Wow, that's an impressive. You know what? The flanker on paper is pretty shit, but. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. Roll over. But it never ceases to impress in real life, and I've seen them several times in real life. Or in the game. Well done, RC. Can I see I'm going with my monster machine? I'll try and get level. The power! Is anything as fast as this? The answer is no. This machine is just ridiculous. Up I go, RC. Up I go. I want to do external shop, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and do a relatively decent email man. And go over with stick and rudder. Okay. Going up over again. Oh, so fast. It's accelerating through this RC. I'm getting faster and faster. Absolutely ridiculous vehicle this is. That was so much easier even than the MiG-29. Like, just... It could probably go and do another 10, I reckon. Right, F-15. So easy for that. It's not even real. Make sure I was dirty. And I was. Right. Punching out. Off you go, RC. See how the big gal does. And this thing... It's all power. This is 60,000 pounds of thrust plus. It's a heavy frame, but when you've got that much power, it don't matter. Oh, look at it go. Keep it straight, I'll see. She's going to be fiddly. Make sure you use rudder for your turn, for your roll as well. Jesus. We are. Okay, just, just do, carry on, carry on, carry on. You've got a good idea of how long that runway is. Oh, we might still here. Good job, good job. And pretty much just straight up again. Yeah, you got so much power in that thing, RC. It's just stupid. Ooh. You got it, you got it. You got the oh speed, boy. you got the speed, you got the speed. <laughs> no, she won't go over. She's but just... Here we go. Uh, this is hard. It is hard. Of course, this is one, probably the only jet where we don't have modern avionics, so... Alright. Okay. Did it. it wasn't the prettiest in the world. But it's not an easy plane to fly when slow. But clearly, you could see it was never really. You got down to about 95 knots at the end there, but it was still just about in control. So um, that can just about do it. You just you do need a bit of skill for that. All right, I completely screwed up on the ground as usual, but I'm going for it anyway. It's this, this thing's so good, I can. Now this thing's gonna have a problem with the Alpha, as you've seen one of these in real life. Alpha's a bit of a. Oh, concentrate cap. I've left my nose on steering on. Not embarrassing for me. It's okay. Okay, I mean, look at the speed already, it's just stupid. And up we go. Full back stick, and it's 300 knots. It's a ridiculous vehicle. Right over the threshold there. Run on a stick, run on a stick, and up we go again, baby. Oh, it's just so easy. It's just look at it. It's gonna go Mac one doing this. Yeah. Stupidly highly kinematically capable aeroplane. Wherever the horizon is, there it is. Whoops, I read it the wrong way. And that's it. That was probably the easiest so far. Uh, which I mean, I don't know. I just don't know enough about aeronautics and why that was so easy. But your guess is as good as mine. Right, I'll see. Go in the. F-18. This is the one I think the first one I might struggle because of its tiny little Peppa Pig Greta friendly engines. And there you go, sir. Mm. Nice. Nice control, I see. Wow, it's making mincemeat of it, I'll say. Up you go. What do I know, huh? What do I know, I'll see? Yep, we're good. Roll over. Yeah, it was at the end, yeah. They did it. Well done. 
Now, one thing I've noticed, the planes with the modern fly-by-wire, I mean full fly-by-wire for the three axis, uh, the F-16 and the F-18, I think are the only ones done so far, they uh, stopped us turning too slow. My, my F-16 wouldn't let me get less than 300 knots. So um, uh, that is, I don't want to say it's cheating, but uh, it is a little bit because it can't do it as tight as the F-14 did. With the F-14, you can just pull back whatever radius you want. But that's just how the aeroplane is, you know, it's pointless moaning about it. Right, it's looking like everything's going to work here. I'm going to have the Jeff, Jeff, which has got no power, but at the rate we're going, it's probably going to be able to do it. Oh, I should turn my nose off to bring up the stuff as well. <laughs> up we go. Right, straight into it, RC. This has got full uh, fly by wire as well. It's actually got less control than. Uh... Well, that is a good fly by wire, actually. Whoops. Up you go. Up you go again. I mean, nice and violent, trying to stall it. Yeah, these jets are all just so powerful. Speed. When no they're. Um... Speed. Damn it. I was really hoping this one couldn't do it, you know? <laughs> Double Limerman to space. No, probably the easiest one yet, to be honest. Which is a bit worrying. Right, looks like they're all going to do it. Do your mirage and then we'll have a chat. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's uh, it's not much intrusion from fly by wire there, which I was really un not expecting. Up we go again, you can run out of front, my RC. Full, full deflection. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! And roll out. Made it. And we're off. Wow. I really wasn't expecting that RC. Basically, they all did it with ease. Uh, even the Mirage, it was perfectly in control at 95 knots, and the same with the Tomcat, within reason. Yeah. I don't know what to think about that. A lot of those had a power-to-weight ratio of less than 1.1, and I think you need more than 1.1 configuration to be able to do a double Immerman. I'm actually surprised. Let me know your thoughts on that, valued viewers. Something seemed a bit off for that for me. Well, we need to show something that won't work, so let's go and get the MiG-21 and AGS-37 standby. Again, 35% internal I gas, blah, 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 blah. Right, over we go. No fly-by-wire in here, not really. Bit of augmentation, but it's going to let me do whatever I want. Hey, <laughs> I'm stalling! Oh. Stalling! <laughs> stalling! Ah! You're off axis. I am off axis, but I can still... No, I'm stalling. I've lost it. I've lost complete control. No, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Not the prettiest, but let's just keep trying. <laughs> oh, this is not going to end well, RC. Restart. <laughs> oh, it's back! <laughs> no, I couldn't do it, RC. I fell out of the sky. I fell out of the sky. Um, again, if you had infinite, you know, room, if I could extend out for a couple of miles to get to 500 knots, then um, yes, you could do it, but... In the confines of a mile long runway, this thing not only has got no power, but it's also got no wing. So this just ain't gonna work, I'm afraid. Not that we don't love it, but. I reckon this can't even do one in moment. They can't do one in moment! They can do it, they can do it. I got ah. it, I got it. I You're at 50 knots, I see. That thing is coming right. down on his ass. <laughs> I ah. got it. I got it under control. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, the engine's gone. Uh oh. The engine went out. Oh, bless you. Bless you. All right, you can bring it in for landing. I'm going to go and get the, the uh, yeah. hyperjet. I'm going to land it. Nice landing. Here we go. Oh, uh oh. How embarrassing for you. We'll cut that out of the stream. <laughs> I think it could do it. 
Roger. I don't know. I don't Actually. think because we're going to go. He's going so slow here. You need wing. If you're going to go fly slow, yeah. you need F14 wings. And we're going to be flying slow. Can you turn your water on. Yeah, I got my water on. It does have the power. I reckon it's got the power to weight ratio on this. People have no it idea how have the powerful. Power. I just don't think it has the. People have no idea how much power this thing actually has. It's so powerful. It'll outrun almost everything. Short. But, like we said, we need the wings. We need the wings uh, as well for such a slow manoeuvre. So, yeah. right full power. Fro uh, nozzles all the way back. You can probably do it with biffing and whatnot, but it's all a bit beyond me, to be honest. Right, here we go, RC. Oh, it's so powerful. That Pegasus. That beautiful British Pegasus. British Pegasus. Well, you're going to do one at least. Yeah, you're damn right I am. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of, a bit of boot, a bit of stick. Oh, come on, baby! Doesn't like the alpha. Oh, doesn't like the alpha. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'll do it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, oh, it was the control. It was just the control. Um, the I mean, was fine. it's not a stable aircraft, is it? I mean, I don't know if stability is the right yeah. word for it, but uh, it had the power to do I think it had the power to do that, you know. If I was a better pilot, I could really control the Harrier. I think that could be done. But for me, I was just getting the, the wings upset and, you know, I don't know, stuff that I don't really even know what I'm talking about. It was it was failing because of that. It just it was too hard for me. Um, so it shows that, yes, there are some jets that can't do it, MiG-21 and, and Viggen and stuff, but I'm really surprised that the Jeff, and with their power-to-weight ratio, streams to send us this, thrust to weight ratios of all fighter planes. Uh, we've got here a slightly different metric in that they've used an empty plane, but all of them, I think they've had 3.5 tons of tons of stuff, either fuel or weapons on. You know, it's in the same ballpark. We've got, what have we got? Wow, the J-11A. I didn't realise that that much thrust to weight. F-15C is the first one we've got at 1.19. In fact, there's the MiG-29, 1.13. F-16E, which is going to be similar to ours, 1.09. F-18C, oh, so I thought the F-A-18 was much worse than that. I thought it was about 0 0.9. So that shows I'm wrong in this configuration. So that's good. Uh, our F-14 is 1.08. Block 52, uh, F-16 is close to us, 1.06. Harrier 1.04, so it definitely had the power, just not the stability. English Electric Lightning F6, zero, my best plane in the world, 0 0.92, amazing. Mirage 2000C, and this is why I don't think it should be able to do it in real life, and why I, my claim of the DCS Mirage being over-modelled is that it's only down on 0 0.88. I just don't think it should have been able to have done that. Wow, the, FA8, the F14A was terrible, wasn't it? And I think that's everything. Oh, there's the JF17. Wow, that's terrible. 0 0.82, there's no way that should have been able to do it. MiG-21, uh, the fast Vigan. High level one, and so on. Well, let me know your thoughts anyway, and draw your own conclusions. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.